30 suicides, 17,000 jobs lost, $750 million in entitlements in the balance. There's no doubt the collapse of Ansett Australia 10 years ago was a massive blow to the airline industry. Now at last, Ansett employees are set to receive all final payments. But questions of profiteering and responsibility remain. From heady years to emotional drama almost overnight, the sudden collapse of an Australian carrier, thousands of stranded passengers and around 17,000 bewildered staff members suddenly without jobs. Air New Zealand had bought the already ailing airline just 18 months before, so its crash, announced in the middle of the night, caught most by surprise. Former customer services clerk Dennis Bell saw the last plane arrive into Brisbane. We simply uh, brought all the folks off and uh, took the bags off, locked the aeroplane up and uh, locked the terminal up and everyone went home. It was a similar story across the country. Former leading hand David Lupton had been with ANSET 27 years. People just thought, well, you know, this is a joke. <laughs> How can we be going bad? And then one day they just locked the doors and... The end of the airline, but not the end of the story. Staff were still owed more than $750 million in entitlements. It's been a long time coming, but finally the administrators called Amentha say they've now sold all of ANSET's assets and will provide final payments in about three months. That's on top of final superannuation payments, which are expected next month. In the end, staff will receive close to 95% of their entitlements. If you take as an analogy uh, one tell an HIH, if you look at the way those their folks were treated during the uh, collapse of those companies, I think that what meant the quarter and the unions have done has been a, a wonderful thing for the ANSET people. Closure for some, but all too late for those former ANSET employees who took their own lives and others who still bear emotional scars. Even today, a lot of people owe money to their families. They just can't pay it back because it was never... They've never got back on their feet again. Initial anger at the owners Air New Zealand has not subsided. Neither has accusations the Howard government profiteered from the $10 ticket tax it added to flight prices. The profit that was made by the Howard years uh, should be made, paid to those employees that the profit's supposed to have served. Which means the final chapter of the ANSET story may be yet to be 